Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Category 6 War in the East. I've not thought of a name for the series as of yet, but I will have one by the time I upload this. So we just moved the 269th Infantry Division, which we will use to dislodge the 48 rifles. Okay, they've retreated, but they've ceded the ground that we need. The thing with infantry divisions is it's difficult to keep them up with their armor and forever. Yeah, you can see the difference here is ridiculous. So we'll have to take it as it comes. We do have motorized. Okay, we do have another infantry division. Move over here. Seems we've discovered armor try to dislodge them, which we have been successful in doing. There we go. It seems we might be able to make it to Riga with enough points to try and take the city. But what we shall do here then is we're going to attach Pioneer Battalions. Basically, that is, <laughs> it's beautiful. Pioneer Battalions really help out armor. They make it so they can attack cities, and just in general, they're just the bread and butter of the uh, armored. Just having them is so good. Right now, this has a self-propelled infantry gun company. Sweet. We'll assign a Pioneer Battalion. There we go, that increases combat power. So morale here is very good. Very good. You can see this unit is at full strength. This unit is... Uh, not as large, apparently. Of course, this is not included in the uh, spot battalions. The first Panzer Pigeon. Yeah. So you can see here, before we only had 11 movement points, now we have 17. And same story here. That's going to make a big difference. Very, very big difference. Right. I should be able to move forward here. Perhaps have enough to attack again. Which I'll try. There we go. Good news. I can move forward a little bit further. And we'll end with contact over here. first. So, move the 253rd. Go for a plant attack. Good. They can move forward again. Very nice. Hasty attack. Good. And forward. Hmm. Hasty attack here. They've retreated. Could go for a full on attack. Our morale is. Uh, it's not great. I need a victory for them. That's helped. That's helped a lot. Okay. Major River over here is not good to attack into. Let's see. What do we have here? NKBD, Anti-Tank Artillery Brigade, and a Headquarters. So we'll attack here. There we go. Very nice. Yep, morale's increasing here. And a hasty attack. Retreated and routed. Yep, that's really helped out their morale considerably. Uh, 
I need to be across this river. I do not want to get caught on this river. And then again, we're not really going to have uh, much of a say in that, are we? We do have a rail crossing over here, however. So I'll move down that way. Hasty attack. Good. Routed. Move forward. What do we have here? We have a motorized vision and other forces, so we'll go for a full on attack. Okay, they held. Not so good. Right, so we have a motorized division. Obviously, attacking across the river was not very good for us. Indeed. Though we still have our men to move up. I don't think that's a good idea. I'd rather not waste men on something like that. Okay, we have the 11th army as well. Probably do with a second division to help you out. Send the 12th. The 12th and the 121st will work together. Lovely. Open enough room for our mo uh, units to move. potentially use both units over here to push across the river. That is a possibility. Though I could move over here, not waste as many men. Force this tank division aside. Then again. Let's see. Basically we need to attach uh, pioneers to every tank division that we can attach it to the 7th Panzer, because that's a uh, far more powerful Panzer Division. There we go. It's a shame, really, but oh uh, well. Ooh, what's that? There you flame wagon? Oh, that's really cool. Flame Panzer. Pioneer. That's going to be felt throughout the campaign. we now have our inroads across the river. Okay, move up the commands. They're good to go, actually. Here needs to be moved up. We'll 
we'll move our panzers soon, so we'll do that after. Okay. So, we've just moved uh, the 16th army. We now need to go ahead and move the 9th army. These men are the first away from the front line right now. I'd like to push on to Vilnius. But again, we do need to be looking at uh, setting up a pocket, so we need to uh, actually need to move forwards. So we'll do just that. Seize a lot of land for ourselves. And uh, we'll move up like this. At least then that's taking the maximum amount of territory. Makes it far easier to set up pockets in the future. Hasty attack. Good surrender. Land attack. Things get a little bit more difficult due to this uh, over here. But the thing is, looking fairly good, we are. I don't know, we're not quite halfway through Lithuania, but we are getting close to that. I'd like to be able to reach Minsk. We'll be able to reach the outskirts at the moment. That's not quite good enough. I don't know, we might be able to fuel these guys and get them there. Okay, the 12th is the closest. It's the fact that they're having to go around these units, which makes this difficult. So let's see what we can do about them, uh, about that then, shall we? Hold on, Doc. this would disrupt a lot of the Soviet supply, though I could do the exact same thing by moving over here. If I move down here I can disrupt these guys, but I would like to try and keep formations tight. So I'll head over here.
get this impulse retreat. Uh, so what we're going to do here is going to press B, which breaks units up, or, uh, well, breaks them down, if you'd like that. So I'll do just that. And then what we'll do is we'll use this unit over here, and then we begin the work of setting up the pocket. So our force system should I could, or I could do this instead. But then again, I need to have it working over here. Good, they retreated. We'll move over here. And we have a anti-tank artillery gate, which I forced out there. There we go. Disrupted their headquarters too. Right here. We do have reserve formations up over here too. They'll move over this way. I can have them attached to the other cores over here. guys up as well. Though we'll leave it, there's a lot to be moved over here yet. Okay, you're within range. Let's see, 161% fuel, 183% fuel. Let's see, 183 Damn, I should have assigned you with the Panzergr- Yeah, well, sorry, with the Pioneers. Though... Looks about the same, really. They could make it to Riga. I think we're able to move the Panzers in the north now. Yeah. So move the 4th Panzer Group. 170% fuel, 171% fuel. We'll move you uh, over this way, I think. I'll move the motorized before I move the armor. The reason for that is... Well, actually, then again, motorized would be better at taking these cities. Uh, I don't know, it's hard to say. It's the fact that they have the infantry element within them that makes them capable of doing things like that. Yeah, motorized rifles. I'll have to take a look at the composition of armored. They do have motorized rifles, but not as much. Either way, I'll move this unit up first, and then what we can do here is dislodge these units. Should make it hopefully easier for the other forces to move up. Okay, now uh, we can move into uh, this position. So we see the enemy has an NKVD uh, rifle division. The other unit is unknown, but there's a headquarters there too. as well. Um, hopefully I'd be able to take Reaver on the first turn, so I'm trying to make sure that happens. But they... They could pull off a hasty attack.
And I could move up this way, put those forces off. Hmm. Um, it's a case of fuel. Then again, I need to destroy as many troops in the first turn as absolutely possible. It's conflicting objectives here, really. And then again, it, our main objective would be to destroy the Red Army. I just don't know if I'd regret making this move. All it is going to do is really just move these forces away, so... We'll go like this instead. This cuts these forces off from supply. Well, they do have the ports over here, but it does help. Okay. Like that's going to be enough, but I just don't want to risk not having the city, so we'll send it over Panzer Division. Okay. See, this is why it's not a good idea to have them assigned to Panzer Divisions. It's good for the time being, but they're just not going to be able to catch up. And they're going to be, uh... Well, that's just it. They're constantly going to be playing catch up. Right, this unit has about... Three infantry divisions assigned to it. Sorry, core. This one only has one. So what I'll do here is I'll move up. So this is... XX. So I'll have you reassigned. That's using three admin points. Wait, no, that's the wrong command. God damn it. That was a waste. Right, there we go. At least we do not need to worry about um, command now. Hmm. I am tempted to roll through here, but let's see how we fare at Riga. Has a lot of armor. God damn it. That was the panzers. There we go. There's a good amount of fuel here. have the ability to actually send fuel over here. Let's see. I may want to refuel these guys instead. 
Maybe we've achieved our objective over here to breathe out, so that's that objective achieved. I'd like to be able to make it to Minx, so I think what I need to do is actually refuel- whoopsie. I could try to uh, refuel these panzers over here. That would possibly allow them to make it even further. There we go. Fourteen tons, yep, fourteen fuel. Just one fuel. Seventeen fuel. Okay. So now it's hundred sixty nine percent, hundred and eighty eight, hundred and sixty five. Seems that's, uh, seem, seems as though that's impaired, essentially. So I should probably have done that when they were already there. Uh, oh well. We'll move towards Riga. Sorry, we'll move towards Minsk. I could take Vilnius. we have over here? Just a uh, headquarters, a shuttered unit, and a airbase actually. So that could be done rather easily. But I'll do that with a motorized. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do that with a motorized. Oh, there we go, we capture some fuel. So is now ours. So I could move along this way as well. I could do we've been on this side of the river. But again, we can just go down this way. Move along here. Right, we've encountered an enemy unit. Let's see. They could go for a hasty attack. That might be enough. Oh, thank god it is. That's good news. Could move up that a little bit further. Push them back. Move up again. We do have a right, well, a right on a tank division, so I don't really want to force them to fight that. Yeah, I can't really move that far this time, and goddammit, I'm kind of bugging myself for that. Well, we should be in a position to try and take Minsk in the following turn. Using a lot of fuel. Right, we still have a hundred percent percent fuel, that should be enough. Move here. Though we are coming towards the end of the episode, uh, so I'd like to thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it so far. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>